Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. This video is slightly different to what I usually do. As the name suggests, the Bookkeeping Master, I usually do bookkeeping and accounting videos. And I have a number of videos on Excel and accounting software that goes through bookkeeping and accounting, things like tutorials and how-to videos. But something I've been thinking about a lot lately is creating a video to show you how to create a budget using Excel. There are plenty of reasons why you may need to budget. It may be that you have some sort of financial goal. You want to be able to save an X amount. It may be that money is currently tight, that you need to budget to make sure you don't get into debt. You may already be in debt and that's why you need a budget. You need to bring down your debts and have a bit more financial freedom. So this is the budget that I'm going to show you how to create. It's a budget month by month. The reason why I create personal budgets on a month basis rather than a weekly basis is because so many things fall into monthly payments, such as loan payments or car payments. A lot of people get paid monthly. They get their salary or wage monthly and also benefits if you're entitled to receive benefits, welfare benefits, a state pension, then all of these things are generally given monthly. So it makes it a lot easier to calculate a budget month by month rather than week by week. So the template I'm going to show you how to create will list all of your income. It will list your debt payments will give you a total of your income, total debt payments, and then the rest of your outgoings. And then at the end, the money remaining at the end of each month or the projected amount of money remaining at the end of each month. And then we have a 12 month total here. So the total money over 12 months earned, debt payments in 12 months and outgoings in 12 months, and also the money remaining after 12 months. Now, if you are not that good with Excel, I will go through the template fairly slowly, but if it's just going to be easier for you to get this template, I can email it to you. I do ask that you go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com and just make a small donation, five, 10 pounds using the PayPal or donation button on that site. Then drop me an email, info at bpfs hyphen online.com let me know you've made a donation and that you want this template and i'll get it across to you so it'll just look like this but if you are interested in learning how to create this template then stick with me i think it's going to go over a, at least a couple of videos it is fairly straightforward but it will take a bit of time to go through everything because I'm aware there are people listening to this video who are very new to Excel um, or have very little experience. So let's go through this template. So first of all, I'm going to click on this box in the top left, which highlights all the cells. And I'm going to click this center button, center text button right here, because I like all my text centered in each box. And let's list the months first of all. Now it's currently September 2015. So let's put September 15. You can put the appropriate month in that box. That's C3. And then I'm going to drag. There's a little black box to the bottom right. If I highlight C3, I'm going to drag that across. We have October, November, December. And I'm going to do 12 months, so to August 16. And I'm going to make those titles bold, so they stand out a bit, just like that. So your template should look like that. Now in this column, column B, let's make it a bit wider because we have a lot of information to put in column B. 
let's do bold and underline and this is going to be our income section so let's do income and just for this title let's move that to the left so that's how your template should look now we've expanded column b and we've put in a heading income into b5 so let's list our income we could have a wage or a salary i'm just going to put wage in the first box we may have a second wage coming in this budget may be a family budget we may have two incomes coming into the household so we have wage and perhaps wage two you can obviously put more detail than this john's wage roxanne's wage etc and then we're going to list other income so depending on where you live in the world and depends on what other income you may receive here in the uk there are a number of different income streams available such as child benefit there may be other things also like work in tax credits and other benefits you may receive a pension so you can put that in too but list all your income details just list them all down the best thing to do is go through bank statements and see what's coming in each month there will generally be wages and perhaps some benefits and a couple of other things but that's our, our first section done let's leave a space and go down one and we'll put in a total so this will be our total income and that's our first section completed then let's leave another space and let's put in debt payments now the reason why I want to keep debt payments separate from outgoings is that it's vital that these debt payments are made and also they're generally fixed a lot of outgoings can be quite variable you don't have a fixed amount going on groceries or food or fuel each month but you do with debt payments generally there are normally minimum payments on credit cards and fixed amount for loan payments so we're going to put credit card one there you can put that as Tesco credit card or NatWest credit card, Barclay card, whatever the credit card is. And then credit card two. And then let's put a loan. So loan payments. Once again, you can put NatWest loan or personal loan. Just give more detail to what these debts relate to and let's do another total here leave a space this is what we should look like so far so this is how it should look like so far we have this income section with a total a debt payment section with a total and the months coming across here let's do another title so bold and underline and let's do outgoings enter let's move that across and let's list some outgoings so first of all let's put rent or mortgage payment that's normally one of the biggest outgoings each month and it's generally fixed we then have council tax once again this may not relate to you if, if you're in the US or other parts in the world but in the UK we pay council tax which is generally a fixed amount each month and let's continue to list some things here I generally put the fixed amounts first listed by the variable because the fixed amounts we cannot change and then once we come to the variable down the bottom we have a nice section of figures we can change perhaps if we're ever spending or if we need to make some adjustments somehow so other things we can put here would be things like car payments if we have a car on finance
You may have a phone line or broadband, which is fixed each month, mine is. So we can put that in. My electricity is pretty much fixed. I pay by direct debit each month. A lot of mobile phones now are on a fixed contract, £25 per month, £30 per month. And we'll have other things too, perhaps a TV license. Insurance, so car insurance. And car tax. House insurance. You could pay medical insurance life insurance once again the best thing to do is just go through your bank statements of all your bank accounts and see what's coming out each month and list them in here make sure you list everything now let's just take a breather and let me explain a couple of things that are important for you to know right here before carrying on a lot of people don't stick to budgets for two reasons one is they don't plan them properly. So it's important that you start off well in the beginning, that you actually go through your bank statement, see what's coming out, so you can mark that on the budget. Too many people forget about certain outgoings. So make sure you go through everything. You may have things that only come out quarterly, such as AA membership, I'll put that here. Like breakdown cover. So just make sure everything's listed. We'll then come to variable expenses or outgoings like car fuel, food bills, nights out, days out. And that brings me to my second point to why, my, to why most people fail with their budgets is they don't budget for days out. They list everything in budget. Um, but forget about having a good time. Having a budget is not to make your life miserable where you don't do anything. You just need to budget for these things, especially if you're in debt. Still go out, have fun, but budget for it. And a lot of people fail with their budgeting and give up on their budgeting because they don't budget for money to spend relaxing or having fun or having days out. Let's see if I've missed anything. I think I've covered everything on there. But hopefully you get the picture, just go through and list everything. Once we have listed all our outgoings, perhaps you could leave quite a few spaces um, to add to things in the future, or if anything comes to mind that you've forgotten, then you can add that. We can put a total in. And this is our template so far. And this is probably a good place to stop and I'll see you in the next video there may be a link to the right here click on that if not there will be one in the description and I'll see you in part two thank you so much for watching